some dribbles of news that have come out today, depending on how you look at things. And I'll just begin at the beginning, starting on Sunday. A physical altercation broke out backstage between CM Punk and Jack Perry just prior to the opening match of AEW All-In, according to both Fightful and PW Insider, with Perry subsequently being asked to leave the building. That's what was reported yesterday afternoon. Now, yesterday evening on Wrestling Observer Radio, Brian reported that after his match, and I'm not talking about Daniel Bryan, Brian Alvarez reported that after his match, Punk was met by security in the gorilla position who escorted him to his locker room where he stayed until he was also removed from the building. Well... Then the clock turns 12. We come into Monday, and earlier on today, Nick Hausman of House of Wrestling is reporting that Punk left on his own. And let me read what he has written up, or at least part of that there. From what Hausman was told, quote, Punk was waiting in the gorilla position before the show went live for his match against Samoa Joe when Perry entered the area and walked up to him. Punk initiated the verbal exchange between the two, asking Perry if he had something to say, and the conversation quickly escalated, leading to Perry asking Punk to do something about it. This is when Punk shoved Perry. Perry responded by shoving Punk back, and then Punk put him in what is being described as a chokehold. This is now still Nick Hausman writing this here. We're told that Punk viewed putting Perry in a chokehold as a way to neutralize the situation as he's a trained fighter and does not want to have to fight Perry. No punches were th thrown as far as we know. It goes on to read, Punk then walked into his dressing room, got cleaned up, and spoke with AEW security. Punk, knowing that the situation was not good, asked them if it would be better for everyone if he left the building and was told that nobody was asking him to leave, but it might make things easier if he did. So, that's what was reported by Nick Hausman of House of Wrestling. Obviously, this fight reportedly a fight a scrape a neutralization resulted from comments that perry made during his pre-show match with hook for the ftw title which featured a spot involving the windshield of a car where perry went full justin timberlake as he looked at the camera and exclaimed real glass cry me a river i mean it was kind of like that I, I didn't i don't have an exact you know jack perry impression but that was of course a reference to a previous reported incident in which punk had nixed an idea not just punk apparently tony shivani and other creative people including medical nixed an idea perry had to use a real glass for a spot on collision obviously during the press conference tony khan just confirmed the incident took place, but refused to comment further, no surprise, stating that it was under investigation. Well, our own Brian Alvarez tweeted it about, oh, I don't know, now about, uh, about an hour ago or so, quote, The belief within AEW is that Punk and Jack are both suspended pending the results of an investigation, which would mean neither will work all out. End quote. Mike, are these yes. guys out of their minds messing with a UFC fighter? What are they thinking? Hey, the Duke Rufus trained UFC fighter. Now, you've had some experience mixing it up with UFC fighters before, and I've, I got to be honest, I saw you on The Ultimate Fighter. You had a chance to neutralize the situation, and you just punched it in its face. I would say CM Punk is obviously a much more calming presence than Filthy Tom Lawler. Has anyone, and I may be the first, yes, sir, Mike, to bring this up, mm. is, is CM Punk still technically under a UFC deal? I is he is he a double agent for TKO? He's going around f fighting everybody backstage at AEW trying to make the UFC look good. Is that what's going on here? Is is that the reason? You know what? You may have broken know. something here. Is that the reason that he was backstage at that WWE Raw that time in Chicago? Is that the reason why? Could be. He's always at the CFFC in New Jersey scouting talent. Hmm. Maybe he's scouting backup. Maybe he's looking for enforcers. Hmm. Would you be available for such a duty with CM Punk? 
I'm available for any sort of duty if there's money behind it, it <laughs> including this show. Well, that's exactly. And I'm, I'm glad you're actually able to be now heard and seen. I'm able to be heard, obviously, but not seen quite yet. We're still the, working on that part of the equation. This so. is filthy Tom Lawler for everybody out there listening who just barged in midway through the show. I was having some technical difficulties. Apparently, one of the other staff members infected my airwave and i couldn't connect but they uh they took care of it so here i am like oh, no good. fault of our own no 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 ne it's never our fault. Well. you know that it's never our fault but hey look we we went into this show talking about cm punk now we're coming out of it still talking about cm punk we're going on a literally a full year from the time that all in happened last year where cm punk has been fully in the mix i mean I mean, do, do you have any comment at all or any, you know, uh, amusement or jokes, anything about uh, what took place with Perry and Punk and, and just the fact that this is like a thing that cannot be shaken? I, I'm of the belief and feeling that there's always going to be problems in the workplace, especially in a business like this. I, you know, spent most of my working life in a sport where people fight each other they're at odds constantly so perhaps i'm just accustomed to it more than others are but hey as the song says saturday night's right for fighting pro wrestling is right for fighting that's one thing we're not going to do on this show right mike uh, no i, I hope you not. and i are a cohesive unit exactly we are team filthy yeah, look, I even give you the, you're, you're the boss. I, I, you're in charge. But I got to get this video fixed and go to break, like, right now. Wrestling Observer like now. Live, the professionalism. We'll come back to this show tomorrow when the adult in the room, the big boss man, Brian Alvarez, is back in his normal chair hosting the show. I guess I'll have to be here too, Tom, unless you want to do the show for me. Would you mind again? I'm good. All right, fine. Well, look. After it, doing, you, Mike. Yeah? Yeah. I love you. I love doing the shows with you. After doing the solo show on Friday, that wasn't that bad. And then you present me with the the opportunity to get back on the air with Brian. Right? I belittled myself enough on Friday. I don't need somebody else doing it on the airwaves tomorrow. So I think it's time that uh, I think it's time that you and Brian reprise your role as the award-winning broadcast journalist from wrestlingobserver.com that you are hey guys did you love this clip if so you should join our channel just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do wrestling observer live wrestling observer radio the brian and Vinny show all of them in full hd full length plus archives of all of your favorite shows click join today and don't miss out